Hello and welcome to the lecture. So we will just continue with the JavaScript side and now we have used the thing which you have seen earlier. If I try to refresh, it will give me the value as the demo which we have mentioned in the page as here. So we will try to get this value through JavaScript. We have seen that but now we will try to get that through jquery as well for every jquery we will start with dollar and we have the id which you can remember if i inspect i can get the id here that's this is the id for jquery if you are using an id you have to start with ash because it's uh, it's a definition css selector we can tell so we'll come back to css later on and we'll do more jquery stuffs there as well and this is about the selector so if i use ash means that it takes the id by default because in the previous one we saw for javascript maybe we'll come back later so if i try to paste that it will and close this it will give me some uh, collection kind of thing where you can see that the elements over there it's a input element you can see that and the other information as well so this is how for the dollar of thing we will start so if you can see the javascript this will have the document dot get element by id so this will automatically knows that we are going to use the id we need not define ash here but for jquery for every selecting elements we'll use some representation for id it is ash if you want to use uh, select an element with a class maybe here you can see that we have the class equal to text field underscore uh, text underscore field and apex item text and that would be selected through the dot we can use dollar of dot as well and for uh, javascript we have document dot get element by class name this would select me the class need not put anything but for jquery you have to use representation with dot so this is how it works to select that element and even for a tag like a body tag we can directly use dollar of body so almost the dollar of body and the document object is same somewhat similar only thing document will have the other tags and body will have the complete only the body part so this is how it is and even uh, other things even if you want to use javascript as a jquery you can you have the query selector sorry query selector all and query selector will select only one element query selector all will act as similar kind of dollar but uh, but we'll just go to in our ways we can we can get that but this will return me some different Thing, the node list uh, in query selector it will return me a node list collection but for other things document.get element by it would return some uh, html things so that's difference but the query selector all is somewhat similar here even you can use that page item as well as a representation of an id that would return me as a node list so this is what the difference is but we will uh, go with the jquery as well that's what the preferences are it's very lightweight as i said so if we just start with the dollar of the thing which we selected and this will return me the what are the contents there and to uh, get the value we have the val function so that will return me the value of this page item so that's how the thing so we had value for the document or get element by id and this has the val function so what about setting the value the same thing inside the parameters the arguments you have to mention what you want so that would set that so you can see that it's reflected here so that's how it is happening and this is about the jquery here a brief overview of how we are using and the advantages of it as well as you can see it's very simple and this much number of words to be used and compared to javascript so it's it's designed for that purpose and we have other things as well apex uh -huh. which is coming out of the box as a feature you can get that value 
so that's through apex apis so that's what uh, it has the apex object in only in which is supported in oracle apex so if you try to click on the apex you will get some lot of things which is specific to apex only and we are going to start with this comparison on apex dot item that is our page item that compares the thing let me just clear this so for item this will support the arguments only with the page items and the buttons which are part of apex so you have to give the page item name need not mention any hash or here so this will return me another objects there i can see that i can use that element as well this is with respect to that jquery thing which we saw and even i can use the get value this is what we are going to use now and other properties set value we will use that as well and other properties whichever we need it we can use that so this is how we have to start with learning how the objects are returning so if you start with apex.item.getValue as we have seen in one of the functions here under this tree so if you see that it's returning me this thing whatever i wanted so this is similar to dollar of that item.val and even document.getElement by id.value this is almost similar thing if you can compare yourself and if you want to set the value we have the set keyword here set value and the same way as the val will pass the in the parameter so if you set that and you can see the changes here so this is how it's happening and you can understand the differences between the three things what it is doing the javascript side and even jquery side and even the apex side so apex has provided bound they want to use this so we will try to use this apex api is the most because that's somewhat optimized to that framework side so if you are using jquery or javascript it's fine it works but it's up to you i recommend you uh, to follow me with the apex apis that's how it is designed for the framework side so that it will be easy to understand much on that so that's for the apex side so and if you want to uh, do for other page items even you can do on that and uh, even for the buttons you can add it and with respect to the difference between this uh, javascript jquery and apex apis only this is the thing and more of it the javascript and jquery will have a lot of things to compare but with respect to this three battles it is only this with respect to values we have something as well with respect to ajax side and that side we would use the apex the most so wherever there there are some apex features provided by oracle apex we'll try to implement that as possible and if not there is nothing we can't get it in apex side we can use the jquery or javascript so we'll see more on the next lecture